The Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Kunle Olomo, has been impeached. Olomo was impeached for alleged embezzlement of funds, high-handedness, and related offenses. 18 of the 36 members of the State Assembly voted for Olomo's impeachment at a plenary session earlier today. The Assembly immediately elected a member, Oludaisi Elemide, as the new Speaker. Recall that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, had on September 6, 2022, arraigned Oloma before a federal high court sitting in Lagos over an alleged 2.475 billion Naira money laundering. We are law-abiding legislators, and that is why you have not seen violence all this while. We have our rules and orders in the House, and it gives us both the standing order and the constitution gives us the right to select, elect our speaker. The speaker is not in any way higher than members. He's just a first among equal. And whoever the member says is their speaker, is their speaker. And that... It has no coloration. You can see what you have achieved today. Both members of the ruling party and opposition came together to rescue the state. So the entire members of opposition fully participated in this change of leadership. I will take full responsibility of um, the whole thing as it unfolded. And Carlson, and this joining us live to discuss this is the former Deputy Speaker of Ogun State House of Assembly, Honorable Dari Kadiri. Good evening, Honorable Dari Kadiri. Okay. Uh, well, I might not have much to say, but I think uh, the, the member of the Obuzabu Assembly, they've done the right thing to me. And I think, you know, it's something we have been fighting for. That the right on the is so corrupt and, you know, stone headed. And it's not a team player. So I think they, they've done what is expected at the house. They are trying to, to, to wrong. Uh, to right a lot of wrongs that has been committed in the past. Okay. All right. So you had raised your concerns about the s speaker. So do you think you have been vindicated now? Uh, well, I think that, uh, Nigerians have been vindicated. I, I, it's a great day for me. You know, it's a day for me to celebrate. But, you know, we shouldn't be celebrating now because there's a lot of corruption in Nigeria. People like us should stand up other people should come up and speak out against corruption. And I think uh, the states, uh, the state, they are listening to what our president, uh, President uh, Tinubu, is doing. We saw what she did, what she did with the, with the woman in the ministry. So I think he's stripping down. Uh, you know, we just all of us have to stand up for against corruption so that we can have a better Nigeria. All right. Mm -hmm. Now the S one speaker was alleged of. A he was allegedly accused of gross financial recklessness, bad leadership, amongst others. Is it a good reason for him to be impeached by a vast majority of the members of the same political party? Yeah, yeah because the, sometimes, how do you sell people this? When you are in the House of Assembly or you are in the Senate of the House of Rep, the party is no more important for us. What is important to us is your constituency and at large in Nigeria. Okay? People that have entrusted their votes into you. And, and you know what I mean? And, you know, they send you there to play a job. And we are supposed to monitor the executives. So you that are supposed to monitor the executives, if you are the thief, then we're going to be catching the thieves. All right, then. Now, are you in support of the government of um, Governor Dakpo Abiodun? Do you think the governor has a hand in this? No, 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 no. I'm sure because I spoke to, I had a chat with, I'm not going to hide this, I had a chat with some of the boys who are in the house. They are experienced legislators. We have some ranking now. But from all indications, from all information available to me as of now, Governor Dakpo Abiodun is not part of this. The House, board, the House members, the legislators decide to do what a legislator should do when the, when the head is not doing the right thing. Okay. So does his impeachment have any implications ahead of the 2027 polls? Sorry? I said, do you think, do you think that his impeachment have anything 
if, it, if it's going to affect the polls of 2027, does it have any implication ahead of the 2027 polls? Yes, I, I know there's a lot, there lot of politics going on, and a lot of people saying, well, because of 2027, we will be in the district having their own agenda. But I don't think, I don't think a speaker of, of the House of Assembly has much to do. The, 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 the electorate we always decide for themselves. We are 26. So how, how can you tell me 26 we decide for for two point something million of good citizens? More so, when it gets to that, it's too highly for that. I think all of them, they just gone out of the Supreme Court. The governor is still trying to settle down. You know, that he concentrates and do the job. You understand? And he has been performing very well. I, you know, yeah, it might not be, I mean, you know, but I, I believe what he's trying to achieve because I know him personally. You know, he, he, this, this, this will be a little bit of distraction, which is not important. So 227 is still, is still still far away, you know? So we are progressing. I know as at that time, our party leaders will come together and decide. And don't, don't, don't forget one thing. Ogun State, we have a lot of uh -huh, political declarators there. You understand? We have, apart from political declarators, we have, you know, interested people. Wole uh, Shoyinka, Prince Wole Shoyinka, and others there. there. Uh, General Obasanjo is there. A lot of them are there. So I don't think they're going to take any shit anyway. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, time, so much Thank, you Thank you so much, Thank you so much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.